Hi, my name is Florian and I would like to give you a quick start guide on how to use the Tor 10 trial vouchers. By visiting the voucher URL you will see a page that contains all information about the voucher. It contains a validity period, the number of licenses that you can generate with the voucher and the lifetime of each license. In this case you can generate up to 10 licenses. Using a hostname twice, you can generate a new license once the old one for that hostname is expired. Always use the hostname and not the full qualified domain name. Separate each hostname with a new line. Casing doesn't matter. Once you are ready, click on the Generate Licenses button. You can always revisit the page to generate new licenses as long as the quota isn't exceeded. Read the EULA and accept it. And you will see it download links for all supported platforms. Download the package for the operating system that you would like to scan. Once you have downloaded the package, extract it and check if it contains at least one license. On a target system you would then open up a command line as administrator. Navigate to the Tor program folder and just run the Tor binary for a scan with pretty good defaults. A scan takes between 40 minutes and hours depending on the disk size, speed and content. Customers sometimes like to use the quick scan switch. After the scan, you will find an HTML report in the program directory. It lists all the relevant suspicious elements and findings that have to be reviewed by a security professional. Remember, Tor is not an antivirus. It's a compromise assessment scanner that highlights suspicious elements that could indicate malicious activity. You can find a manual for Tor and the utility named Tor Util in the subfolder named Docs. In it you can find information on scan modes, scan parameters, all output options, custom signatures and IOCs, and how to deploy Tor at scale. The mentioned Tor utility named Tor Util allows you to update Tor and its signatures verify the binary's digital signatures, encrypt custom signatures, or generate a single HTML report for log files from multiple end systems. Well, that's it. I hope that you find it useful. Contact us by email to support at nextron-systems.com in case of any questions or problems. Bye bye.